everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today is Throwback 30. So of course, 30 Fantastic Ladies collaboration projects, 30 prompts in total, 30 projects. So you get to sample a whole bunch of different projects that the Fantastic Ladies gets to do without committing to the entire project. Now, of course, a lot of these I have committed to, so you can feel free to check out the playlist. But today we're doing update number seven. So we are over the halfway mark of the year. The project did begin in July. And so let's see how I'm doing. Um, I'm actually doing really well, if I don't say so myself. I did manage to finish up one product. It was my goal from last month, if you're all caught up on my videos. And that brings me to 22 finished items out of the 30. So there's not a whole lot left, but the stuff that's here, it's still going to take a bit to go through. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First off, we're going to start off with 50 Shades of Pink. So I have my Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. We have a cream blush and a powder highlighter. I have to use both of those together for this account as a use for me. So we'll have a little screenshot of where it was last time so you guys have that reference. And no, we're making progress. The dips are definitely getting bigger. This is what it looks like now. So again, you can see some pretty sizable dips happening on both sides. I am using them together, like I said. Now, I have used this guy a total of 18 times since my last update, bringing me to a total of 56 uses in the project so far. So almost two solid months worth of use, because I did have two cream blushes here. When I'm looking at it, like I feel like these are still deep pans, but maybe I'm getting close. Like it's, oh. yeah, we'll see. Um, I do try to wear the pans down and it doesn't look like it, but I try to wear them down somewhat evenly. But of course with the pan sizes and my brush, it's a little bit challenging to do that. So you can see definitely there's some heavier dips in there, but we are making good progress on this guy. Obviously, it's going to be still around for quite some time. I'm still optimistic I will reach my goal because this is only month seven, so we'll see how I do. Beauty A to Z. Take the alphabet, in my case, the English alphabet, randomize a letter. I got R and attach a product to it. So as I am wearing in basically on my video since I rolled this mascara in, we have the Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. This I am wearing today. It may have one month left. It may have two months left. Mascaras are so hard to tell. I did use it 25 times since I last filmed an update for this video, bringing me to a total of 80 uses in the project, which is a total of 80 uses fully because I haven't used this anywhere else. So making some progress. I don't know how much longer. Again, one month, two months. Mascaras run out when they run out. So we'll just carry on in the meantime. Child of the 80s. So this is 80s themes prompt. I picked the Princess Bride, a product that you love. And so I've been playing with the NARS blush in Orgasm, a classic. So I wanted to see what the hype was. I do enjoy wearing this particular item. Comparison, I mean, it's a powder product and I can see there's a dip. There's definitely movement happening, but this is where I'm at now. And it doesn't really translate very well on camera. Can you see a little bit of the pan that way? At least in terms of the size, there's no like middle pan or anything. And that's the goal on this one. The goal is to hit pan. So we'll get there when we get there. Um, it's getting a lot more consistent use. It's getting much more consistent use. I believe I am somewhat consistent in counting reapplications, but not always. So I have marked 26 uses, bring me to a total of 45 in the project. So as you guys can see, I'm starting to ramp up my usage on this now that I've got my blushes and other projects dwindled down, goals met, so I can really focus in on this one. Again, this one, I'm still optimistic. I will hit pan by the end of the project, but it's just gonna require a fair amount of focus on it. Jumping through so many prompts, of course the description box has my list of everything else down below. We are now moving on to Nightmare on Panning Street. So I picked Dracula, a product that sucks the life out of you. Um, so in this case, the Mary Kay Clear Proof Charcoal Mask. So it's kind of like a deep cleansing charcoal mask. Um, we're getting real close. I have been very bad at using this. Now, I don't think these marks are super accurate because I was here-ish last time. And now that I've been actually able to push air out, 
we're about down here. So we're getting down there. Not a whole lot left. One month, two months, just depending how much I focus on this guy here. Skin is in. So let's talk about a skincare item. I have my Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Mask. Comparison to where I was last time, and this was my goal to finish for the update. And I did. It took me basically right to the end. I pulled out what I could, but this one is now done. I'll save my review for my monthly empties videos. But I am excited to have this one out because this was kind of my main focus mask for quite a while there. Because I have, there's, well, when this was being used, three masks in this project. I've got masks elsewhere, so I'm glad to get one used up. Speaking of masks. That's expensive. So using your expensive skincare. So I have this mask from Strivectin. This is the Multi-Action Cloudberry Moisture Plumping Cream Mask. This is designed for hydration. So again, the video comparison of where I was last time. This is the one I've also been trying to get good usage on. Because again, winter, trying to rehydrate the skin a little bit. Um, I am about halfway, I think, on this item. This is where I'm at now. And again, the lights make it kind of hard to see, so I'll have a video. And that is about, yeah, about halfway, assuming we go all the way down. So who knows how far this goes down. Again, trying to work it down nice and evenly. So this will still be in for a while, but I do need to prioritize this a bit more just to make sure it is done for the finale. This is fantasy, so focusing on all of our fantastical creatures. I picked an e.l.f., a product that makes you feel beautiful. It's the same story with this, you guys. Uh, this is a little mini of the NARS Afterglow Lip Gloss in Orgasm. Uh, you can see it lines and settles really nicely. There, there. Um, okay, so I've tracked six uses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's something. Bringing me to a total of 40 in the project thus far. Now, what I'm gonna do, because this has been in my work bag, and clearly, like, it's getting a little bit of use, but not very much. I might switch this product out. I do have glossy items kind of sitting, like, on my makeup vanity. So I might switch it out so I can try to prioritize this one. Because when I put some focus on it, like, clearly, it is moving. And of course, lip products I don't mess with the stopper. So once it becomes hard to get stuff out, we'll call it quits. But it's a beautiful lip gloss. I love it. It's just I don't reach for it very often at work, clearly. So I might switch it out, which means that other product will probably not get very much use, but then this one will. So we will see how that one does, just because the gloss isn't really something I reach for. And then finally, we have the Zodiac Panner. So as a Gemini, I picked a yellow product. So I picked the Burt's Bees Moisturizing Lip Balm in Strawberry for the yellow packaging here. This is getting nice and close to the bottom. I didn't go as hard on it this month as I did in January, but this is it. That is all that is left in there. I did use this 23 times in the last month, bringing me to 164 uses in the project thus far. Now that could be a very light layer, almost like a lip primer, just to give a little bit of moisture to the lips before I go in with other lip products. And sometimes it's a whole like just to really try to get some moisture in there. So quite a range on the uses. And as you can see, we're getting down there. We're getting close to the bottom. A couple more months on that one to get it finished off. So again, one completed item. That leaves me with 22 finished items. Eight left to hit the goal for Throwback 30. So in terms of my goals for next month, I'm going to try to prioritize the charcoal mask because it's down here. And this isn't a mask I'm going to cut into or anything, just because it's charcoal and it's messy. So once I can't squeeze more out, that's where I'm going to call it quits with this particular mask. So I might get a couple more masks, I assume. So this is going to be my main priority to try to finish for the next update. Obviously, there's a ton of items here that I'm using very consistently. The mascara I'm using now every single day, the Natasha Denona, right? That's getting a good amount of use in a month. Um, the NARS blush is kind of my daily blush for the most part. So I am making some good progress. So they are kind of focus items, but because I can't meet my goal in one month, or at least I don't anticipate being able to, 
It's not kind of my main goal, if that makes sense. But that's going to wrap up today's Throwback 30 update number seven update. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.